Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Since my upload schedule has been so regular recently with tons of videos showing study tips in the last month, I thought I would finally do a video with actual tips in it. And because school is starting soon, this video is about things to avoid for the upcoming school year. Let's get right into the video. The first mistake to avoid is buying a whole bunch of stationery or school supplies that you probably don't need. When buying school supplies, it's easy to get carried away and buy a whole bunch of other things that you won't even need to use. Believe me, I would have bought new pens, binders, markers, and so much more for the new school year if I could. But considering the amount of stationery I already have, I definitely don't need it. You should pay closer attention to what you buy if you're buying ahead without a school supply list because you don't know if your teacher or professor wants you to buy something that you don't have or if they'll say that you need something that you've already bought. That would be a waste of your time and your money. The second mistake is not caring about your smaller grades and thinking that you can just make it up with a bigger exam. When you're given an assignment that's only worth 5 points, it can be easy to not put your full effort into it. However, these points can add up and be a detriment to your grade. But you can just make this up with an exam, right? Not exactly. The smaller assignments usually help you thoroughly understand the information you're learning. This is crucial for your test. Additionally, it's not guaranteed that you'll get full points on your test. In fact, there have been many times where my smaller grades from assignments and quizzes have saved me from a bad score on the unit exam. The third mistake is not focusing when you're doing your work. An assignment that could be finished in 30 minutes might be dragged out and take 2 hours. By the end of those 2 hours, you won't feel good and you've probably not absorbed any of the information. I know this from personal experience and I'm pretty sure you do too. You can definitely see me getting distracted in my first study with me video. So, unlike me, put away your distractions, get in a more focused mindset, and finish your assignments in record times. The fourth mistake, something that so many people fall victim to, is bringing everything they could possibly need to school every single day. I have done this before and my mom described it as banjia or moving every time I did it. Not only is this terrible for your back, you'll have to search through a whole bunch of other stuff to find anything you need. By the end of the year, there's probably going to be a trash pile at the bottom of your backpack. What are simple solutions to this, you may ask? One only bring what you need, which is probably not a lint roller or a whole pack of pencils. Two, have a place to store your other stuff at home when you don't need it. And three, regularly clean out your backpack so that you don't have trash lying around. The fifth mistake is baking productivity. I've done it, you've probably done it, maybe. This is where you spend a lot of time procrastinating by making a nice looking to-do list or reading a book or exercising just to avoid doing what you actually have to do. Although it's easier said than done, make sure you get everything you need to finish done before you move on to other things. Otherwise, you're just putting on a not very good act. The sixth mistake is not studying. If you're in sixth grade, this may not apply to you, but as you move up the grades, you may want to consider studying. Why? Because at one point, you'll have tests every single day of the week for multiple different subjects, and while you may be good in a handful of your subjects, there's probably one where you're not good in. If your teacher has study guides, please use them, and you don't have to study for a long time every day. Just review what you've been learning in class, which kind of brings us back to the second mistake, which is not putting effort into your homework. Your homework is literally a review of what you did in class. Finally, the last mistake is not getting enough sleep. As important as it may seem to scroll through TikTok at 2am instead of sleeping, you really need that sleep. Not only does getting your 8 hours of sleep make you feel more energized in the morning, it also balances your hormones, lowers your risk for serious diseases like heart disease, helps you learn and focus better, improves your mood, as well as many other things. Sleep is very important. So next time you find yourself going on your phone before bed, ask yourself, do I want diabetes and other health complications? If no, then turn off your phone and go get some sleep. Thank you for watching my video, and if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe with post notifications to never miss another video. Also, thank you guys for 300 subscribers. Just imagining that amount of people in front of me is crazy. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!